Elven archer would be worth three Gondorian archers. Really? Only three? Only three. <laughs> I love the I love the sarcasticness between them both. Only three. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo. Welcome to part five of Shadow of War. We've been having a blast with the series, guys. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around and watching these episodes. If you would like to start back at part one, you can may do so. This is just a good kind of you know chill type of episodes. If you just want to have no if you have nothing better to do on YouTube, you just want to hang out with me and uh, add a little bit of humor on with uh, some of the episodes. So I'm uh, glad that you stick with me and I uh, love doing some epic style of episodes like this i love this shadow of mordor series and this is shadow war this is the second part of shadow of mordor this is one epic game guys we are just getting started we are now level five with talion and uh we are going to be moving on with the story mode and let's get going and uh let's go ahead and go to the quest log and now we can go to uh let's see here we've already completed that we can actually go back to uh, Gondor. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to Gondor. Well, we're in Gondor. You know what I mean. Minasithil. I do believe. Oh, no, that's in Gondor. Right there. Okay, we're in Gondor. Sorry. <laughs> it took me a little bit. Now, this is... Uh, we can go to a few things right here. Challenges. Uh, I'm not really into all that right now. This is in uh, Minasithil. Here, let's just go to Gondor. Yeah, let's continue with the storyline right here real fast. We should return to Minasithil. The battle will not be won on the front lines alone. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, how are we going to get across there? We're just going to go around this way. These are little artifacts. Now, we'll this listen just for one time here. This Moonstone was our last acquisition before the orcs came. A scout found it still smoldering out in the fields where it fell to earth from the moon overhead. I am far from superstitious, but even I wonder whether this bit of fallen Moonstone was meant to serve as an ill omen for the disaster that followed. Okay, and once again, these are little things that you can pick up along the way. We probably will not be playing the audio with all of these because it does kind of take some time. So hope you guys understand that. An ill omen from the skies. Mina Seathill was doomed long before this moonstone fell to earth. Okay, we had to do a little bit of editing to get over here. Okay, now I can get over here. Okay, there's some areas back over here. Yeah, here we go. Once again, we're trying to get to the main storyline. Forces Hello, Mr. Ork. Okay, once again, these are your main storylines. These are guys that we can get intel from. You can see we've got uh, a few captains here. Shaka, the bloated. <laughs> they really did a fantastic job with the graphics in this. No, I don't think so. Oh, would you like some of this too? Y'all go away. I'm, I'm trying to, uh... Okay, am I gonna have to kill everyone here? I'm trying to finish the story mode, sirs. 
here. Oh, I have no. Okay, fine. You'll ask for it. There. Now y'all die. Okay. Piss off. Okay, here we go. No man's land. The orc army is launching their attack from uh, Sirith Ungol. Join uh, Baranor and take the fight to Mordor. Okay, here we go. This is all part of the main storyline. Baranor! You can't have run out of orcs in the city. There are a few left, but we're hunting one in particular. The last bodyguard of the war chief leading the siege. Okay, so these are war chiefs, very powerful orcs who are often guarded by captains. Understanding who uh, guards the war chief and hunting them down first makes defeating the war chief much easier. The army menu shows you which captains guard war chief. Yes, that is true. Okay, so these are war chiefs way up here, and you can see these are the guys that are guarding him, so we can always track him down first. All right, so this is the guy we need to track down. Walk, and the way to a war chief is through his bodyguards. You sound like you've had some experience in this. I've had enough. I'll follow your lead. Oh, I've had enough. Good. Glad you're following my lead, because I'm a pro when it comes to this. Okay, see, so aim at an enemy, press 2. Okay. Gotcha. You have, have fun killing him. Regards from Gondor. Okay, when I get uh, Wraith Chain Command, that thing is going to be nice. Wait till I get that command. Okay. Here we go. It's bodyguard trail. Let's just, let's just kill. I mean, why bother, right? <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Get him, boy. Gondor sends us greetings. Ugh. This is my brutalized skill. Eat that. I'm sure Borner thinks I'm crazy mofo. One thing is, that is not very uh, subtle. But it does cause some of the orcs to flee. Oh, here he is right here. Oh, holy shit. Oh. It's wise to probe the enemy, but it still won't save you, Lock, from the blade. Okay, I need to scoot back a little bit because uh, I'm a little low on health here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. That gives me health, by the way. I can't stand these guys with long ranged attacks and stuff. Okay, so he's taking on Bornor right here. Yeah, holding for me. Here. Okay, we're gonna get him right here. We got him. Level level six, skill point up. This game really makes you know feel like uh, your leveling is super nice. I almost feel sorry for the war chief we're hunting. He'll be lonely without his bodyguards. He'll join them soon enough. Yeah, he'll join them soon enough. 
Okay, here we go. So War Chiefs uh, Sirith Ungol are leading the orc forces against Minasithil. Without his leaders, the armies of the Dark Lord will be in disarray. Draw out and defeat the War Chiefs by undertaking confrontation missions. Okay, good. All right, skill upgrade. Oh, we can call followers. Sweet. Nice. So that's another skill unlocked. Cool. Here the we go. The Chief Baranor seeks is just one of many, and they will continue their attacks on Minas Ethel. Then our path is clear. We have to kill them all. And we'll need help from the Gondorians to do it. Okay, so we can summon some Gondorians to our side. And uh, let's pick another... So we already got the death threat. Let's go ahead. Here we go. Let's see, Ice Storm. This is actually a pretty cool one here. Uh, let's see here. Ranged Shadow Strike. That's always fun. Perfect counter. These things are always fun too. There's so many things, guys. Just so much fun. Uh, let's just take the Wraith. Okay, this is Ice Storm kind of freezes them in place and then you get these really fast attacks I'll demonstrate right now yes you get those uh, really critical hits oh you son of a bitch Freeze is in place. Then a nice little critical strike. Once you get that critical strike, you can do da extra damage. Pretty soon, guys, once my level gets really high and once my skills get really elevated I'm gonna run into packs of 20 or 30 of these guys and back to him again That's right. but the actual combat is super fluid once again, I'm playing on PC, and the reason why my graphics are extra epic, ultra settings, is because I'm playing on a really nice PC. If you want to go look at my specs, go to About in my YouTube channel. You can always check that out. You know, I never try to, like, brag on my actual PC, but it is something that kind of a guru at when I build PCs and things. I've got, uh, I won't say top of the line, but uh, definitely, uh, like right now, I'm getting about 95 frames per second, 102 frames per second. You guys can see that because this is in 60 frames per second because of YouTube. Eat that. Okay, so we need to focus more on the storyline so we're not running around killing a bunch of orcs. That's some things I've learned as I played this game. You can just get lost, and that's what makes this open world so amazing. All right, let's get this tower. We don't want the uh, Dark Lord to have all these extra eyes on us. I love that extra jump. And then we'll go up here, and then we'll get us another tower here. The Dark Lord controls a lot of these towers. One more tower is ours. Okay, so not a lot to grab right here. Here we go. We may have two more. Where are you at? There you are. Then I think we have two, one more. There 
you are. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, two of the three are purified. Let's go to our map. See what we are around. There's a fast travel spot there. We can do a lost artifact. Yeah, I'm not really big into all that, you know, getting all those, to be honest. Uh, we need about six uh, Ethelden. But uh, let's go to the to the main quest here. So we've already completed all that. Okay, here we go. This is uh, Shelob's quest. All right, we can go down there and do one of her quests. Do I have any fast travel? Yes, I do. Right there. So we'll do this. We'll go to Shelob. Shelob's visions will reveal our path. We must tread carefully, Italian. Yes, we know, Calibrimbor. All right. And why not distract them? I love this extra jump. Hello. There's a uh, Karagor that's taken, uh, distracting him a little bit. That's what we want. This game really is not hard to pick up. You know, meaning that uh, I get this on Steam, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about pick up and actually play. Very similar to the uh, first game. Okay. Reign of Arrows. Return to Shelob to learn more about the threats to Minasithil. We're about to see some really good epic gameplay. Facing the spider. Ooh, she dropped behind me. What she wants. Then tell me what you wish to see. Nina Sethel still standing. Oh, it's so selfless. Nothing more. We saw some troubling things last time, didn't we? I want to know my fate with the Nazgul. Be careful what you ask for, Ranger. With prophecy comes torment. We take the Ooh. city at dawn. Okay. Submit to your destiny. Mm. I know what you fear, Talion. Shinob's vision is not cast in stone. The Witch King. It is the power of domination. The ring can enslave the minds of men. What can be done? Sacrifices must be made, and many will be lost. But we must hold to our purpose, no matter what the cost. Italian has a way with the ladies. Lives can be saved. If the war chief from my vision is the same one Berano and his men are hunting, they will need help. One war chief makes little difference. Right now, this one war chief is the most immediate threat to Minas Ethel. I will not stand by while Berano and his men risk their lives to take him down. Okay, once again, we can actually summon two of the Gundorians. These are Gundorians right here. So Baranor. let's go ahead and go with Baranor. I'm here to help. This war chief you're after. It's not one to be taken lightly. We've brought down war chiefs before, Ranger. But I won't turn down an extra sword. And we shall take them down together. What do you mean extra sword? I'm like first. 20 year swords. Your men move in after I've cleared the path. Baranor doesn't know who I am. Just saying. Okay, so the guys in yellow is who we need to kind of tag here. And you can see there to the top left on the screen. <laughs> Uh, four stealth kill archers should be uh, rather easy. Okay, there is one. 
Okay, so let's see. We got one guy down here. I think we could probably take him out rather easy. We don't want to brutalize him or anything because that draws, draws too much attention. Get back over here. Yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> that is so awesome. Otherwise, we'll be dodging friendly arrows. They're experienced soldiers. They'll do their part. Oh, now watch this also, guys. We're gonna do... We're gonna actually poison this. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. Because if you blow that up, it becomes poison along with fire. Come over here. You don't like the sound of that? Get over here, then. Yeah. Ooh, blow your freaking head up. <laughs> okay. All right. And let's see. I see you right there. Elven archer would be worth three Gondorian archers. Really? Only three? Only three. <laughs> I love the I love the sarcasticness between them both. Only three. Poison that, just in case we decide to blow that later. Oh, he's actually drunk. Get him, Calibrimbor. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to stop doing that. I need to kill my own guys. Okay, we got three. Can look around. That should be good. Okay, got all four right there. Fighting to protect their home. This is not their home. Okay, let's see. We got one up there. Okay, now I gotta be careful right here. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay, let's see. Now I got one more. Okay. And I want to try to avoid these guys. Okay. Now one thing I can do... Okay, let's get them out of the way. Come on, man. All y'all need to go. Okay, there we go. Now let's get to a vantage point. Okay, good vantage point. Oh, let's get back over here. Oh, I almost uh, like jumped right in the middle of that freaking campfire. Okay, let's poison this also, just in case. There's a good vantage point right here. Okay, here we go. Press two to. The, all right. There he is. Rock. Smell a man. Nothing is sweeter. Together, we will crush their defenses and grind them to dust. Together, as captains in War Chief United, we will have victory. Together, we take the city at dawn. Set them ablaze. Set them ablaze, that's right. Now is the time to strike. There we go. Okay, he's burned. That was uh, one of the captains there. That was easy. Oh, they're blowing it up for me. 
Okay, let's see. We want this guy right there. Let's go ahead and kill the rest of these guys off. Ah, missing. Ah, he saw me. Kill my bodyguards. You only delay the inevitable. The blood of man swine will flow into my belly today, and I'll drink yours first. Talk is cheap. Blades and clubs are so much more memorable. Okay, Mug, you are uh, literally way below me. Well, not too far below me. Savages counter normal attacks from the front. Uh, press E to stun them. Yeah, these guys. I gotta be careful of this guy. Oh, yeah, headbutt. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, there was... Okay, that was another guy. I didn't intend to do that, but that's alright. We'll just pretend that I did. Oh, yeah. There you go. Have one of these. Here we go. You're out of there, Runk. The Heartless. Nice. A good hunt. Less so for the war chief. And his archers. We should go hunting War again. chief down. It would be my pleasure. Okay, guys, one war chief is down. So, Ty. Did we make a difference? We cannot see your lens. We must return to Shilob. The only reason to go back is for my ring. Enough! This is about more than your ring. Or you! Her sight may be what saves us all. Calibrimbar sometimes can be a little ass. Remember, he's an elf, so he's, you know, he's not human. He thinks he's better than everybody else. In that regard. Not right. Be wary, Talion. You trust her too easily. I cannot ignore what she has shown me. We want this. Give me that. And then we want, uh, we don't really need this, but uh, this one here is going to be, this one's going to be a good one here. Let's go into here, and then definitely want to equip, equip that. Let's go ahead and unlock that. And let's go ahead and see. Now we can also increase these two as well. Wait, actually, here we go. Let's forge that. And now we can upgrade this, and you can see it does 7.5% increased damage with all attacks. I think that uh, still applies to my actual sword attacks as well. I may be wrong with that. Uh, change this to this. And everything else seems to be leveling. No, here we go. I need to increase that for sure. That's an epic bow. For sure. And you can see right there. Uh, see. Three, use ranged uh, weapon to kill an enemy while sliding. Okay. And then uh, it also has 28% chance that a headshot poisons enemies. So that's awesome. Now, let's see. Here we go. Level 7. So you have to always go and upgrade these. Use quick throw to hit an enemy on fire. And then uh, use quick throw lights enemies on fire every 42 seconds. So that's a pretty good one there. Okay, guys, and we're trying our best to keep the uh, the actual episodes between 20 and uh, 25, maybe 30 minutes long tops. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Be sure to stick around for part six coming up right after this. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me. And as always, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Log into your YouTube account. Drop that like before you leave, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging around with Benzo. Later, guys. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. 
Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.